Hello, welcome back to a new video. My name is Katie, I'm a full-time artist and today I wanted to share with you this process video which is part of a Peachtober prompt. So this was for Dandelion and I'm sure you all know that Peachtober is a prompt list which is hosted by Fairy Little Peach and I will pop a link down to the prompt list down below because it does go for all of October and it's perfect if you need some inspiration for drawing and it also has a really nice community if you go on the hashtag and there's so many entries so you're bound to find some inspiration there as well. But as well as showing you the process for this piece today I wanted to talk a little bit about art style. I definitely struggled with this piece and I was really disliking it at first. It does feel quite different for me and I was trying to push myself by including a figure and trying to make more of a narrative. A lot of the time my art pieces are very landscape based and like I draw a lot of houses and things but I often don't draw people and it's one of those things that I actively avoid because I don't know how they work in my style yet. So another reason I found this tricky was because I was working on paper that I was unfamiliar with and it also turned out to be not great quality. I found it really thin so it did buckle with the gouache. It just felt very foreign to me. It wasn't coming out how it usually does in my sketchbook. I create a lot of work in my sketchbook so even working outside of that and on a piece of paper changes the way that I work. I feel like I have extra pressure to make it good because it's not in my sketchbook and I do see my sketchbook as a really safe place and that's why I work so much in there. So this was different in that sense and you can see that the gouache doesn't really sit on the paper very nicely and although I'm really trying to focus on texture at the moment it wasn't the texture that I wanted. So this feels quite different for me art style wise because it was a different way of working. I do usually start with the gouache layer but the way that it sits in my sketchbook feels nicer to me and at this stage and once I've drawn in these dandelion leaves I really hated how it was turning out. So the main thing I wanted to talk about in terms of art style today is about how uncomfortable it can feel when you are trying new things. So I talked a little bit about this in my September vlog but I am actively trying to work on my art style and really push it forward. I feel like with the daily art challenge last year I was quite prolific in what I was creating, obviously creating six days a week and so that really helped push my art style forward and I got to a place where I was really happy with it and I was confident in the art that I was making. Then I finished the daily art challenge and I stopped and I found it really hard to get going again. I really needed that break and that rest but it also meant I stopped creating daily and it didn't become a priority for me anymore. So I did go through some art block in September and decided that October for me was just going to be experimenting and playing and focusing on what I want my style to be. So this was part of that. I was trying to push myself with the little character in there and try new things and that all sounds very fun and very exciting and there is an excitement there but I do want to talk about how it's also very uncomfortable. It's really good to try new things but it also means that they're new to you and so you're not going to be very good at them. And as someone who felt quite confident in their art style that was kind of hard to accept because I feel like if I stayed with how my style currently is then I'll feel very confident in the art that I create and you know I'm still going to have bad days but I do know what I'm doing. Whereas pushing my art style like this means I have to accept that uncomfortable feeling and go through the stages again of being a new artist and trying new things. And although it's very safe and easy to stick with what you know, I think it's more important as artists that we do go through that phase. I could still stick with my style and I'm not starting from scratch. I'm more just wanting to develop it into something different and play with more textures and explore narrative and that sort of thing. So I'm not starting from scratch but the experiments that I've been trying still feel very difficult for me. And I think that's where the growth as an artist comes from. I think if we stuck to the same things all the time we don't necessarily grow as quickly and it's the growth that is the part that feels most uncomfortable for me. 
I know there's a lot of videos and advice that are about art style and it does always come down to practice and finding out what you want. So if you want to develop your art style further or take it to a newer place, then you do have to practice a lot and practice new things and it's not going to feel fun all of the time. And I think maybe that's not something people want to hear, but I do feel like creating art sometimes is hard work, but the results that you come to at the end because of that effort and the hard work that you're putting in is definitely worth it. So I'm adding on the pencils here and I do come in with some neo colors as well. I've always said that the first layer is really tricky for me, but at this point I didn't even think that the details layer was going to save it. And it does a little bit, I do like it a lot more once I've added on all these little bits of texture. And you'll see, especially with the near colour, I experiment with adding lines to the border, which I really like. So that's another thing, if you are experimenting with art style or trying different things, is to not discount something just as bad. I would have probably just thrown away this piece and not thought anything of it, but because of the daily art challenge, I really pushed myself to find the good things. So instead of like ripping pages out of my sketchbook or throwing this in the bin, it's really important to find the good parts about it, even if it's just like a tiny, tiny piece of the artwork. It could be you really liked a shade of colour that you mixed, or one tiny bit of texture that you add, or even like I'm doing now, adding on that little bit of pink. I think it's really important not to discount an artwork completely. I think there's always something that you can find that's good in it. And I think that's important when you are developing and trying to find your art style. And I think that's how you find your art style, is noticing what you do like and then doing that more. So if I like how I do the grass in this, for example, or the way I'm adding to these flowers, that's what I'll take from this piece. So it doesn't have to be a good piece overall, it's just I've learned something from this and I can apply that to future artwork. And that is how you find your style and that's how you become more confident in what you're creating because you're finding the things that you do like. So I know this was quite rambly but I really do enjoy talking about art style and it's something that I think is really important to talk about as creatives, especially the fact that art can be really difficult at times and it's not always really fun and creative, like creativity can be really difficult and I just think that art style often seems like the end result and I really disagree with that. I think art style should be constantly evolving and changing because that's what we're doing as artists and as humans. I don't think we should just get to a point and I don't think that we can get to a point and just be happy and that's done and ticked off and then life's all good. It's constantly changing and I think as artists we need to be constantly changing as well. We'll often have different likes and dislikes and things can change, just like like your taste buds can change and suddenly you really like something that you used to hate. It can be like that and we'll only know and discover those things by trying. So that's what I'm doing this month. I'm really trying to add a lot of texture into my work and really experiment with different things. I recently did an inky painting which you'll see in the October vlog and that was different for me but I learned a lot from it even though it was unusual and I think just having this month to play and I'm not going to just stop at the end of this month, it's something I want to continue but I am finding it really helpful if not uncomfortable. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'd love to open up the comments for a conversation about art style if you feel like you're at a point where you can be happy with it but want to develop it further and if so how, or if you're not there yet and you're still in that whole phase of trying lots of different things. And I do find that creating and just doing lots of artwork, no matter if you like it or not, is really helpful and that's why I love the daily art challenge so much. So thank you so much for watching this and I'd love to know what you think of this artwork as well. I hope you enjoyed hearing my art chat and I will see you next Sunday with a new video. See you later.